Hello everyone, Awkward Comic is back and I'm here with a new figure review. And today's new figure review is on the 2015 by Uncle's Toa Tahu. I just got him today and I had just built him. I wanted to rebuild him and review him at the same time, but I was going to kill it. But yeah, I had been a little skeptical on again because I didn't know if I wanted to get him or not, but I decided to, you know what, let's just get him. Because I'm trying to get all the main, by the main Toa, since I have Ikimu and Korgok, but I also have... Skull Grinder. I dismantled um, Skull Basher because I was going to use his parts for something else. Maybe to... <laughs> ah! I am a skeleton! <laughs> to... to improve Skull Grinder, maybe. Like, make him a, a wee bit taller, or a wee bit more bulkier. Who knows, I don't know. But, yeah. Let's see him at the time. But, yeah, I got, um, got hold of this because it actually looks pretty cool. Um, the only sucky part is the, the set that we have the Skull Grinder and his minions is we don't have a corrupt version of his Matahol's Golden Mask. Well, the only corrupt versions we have, I believe, are Dali's, I believe it's Gali, Anoa, Pohatu, and Kopaka. But we only have the four corrupted golem masks were missing Tahoe's. I don't know if that's coming out in a later set or series. I don't know, but it would have been cool to have him like wear a corrupt version of his of his golden mask so we can kind of like have a nostalgic feel of Tahoe having a corrupted mask because in the old Bionicle series and the old Bionicle movie of the Mask of Light, he had a corrupted mask, but it was his normal mask, he didn't have a golden mask, but it would have been good nostalgia feel to have him have a corrupted golden mask to, put, to make you like, oh, he's got a corrupted mask again. But other than that, I actually really like him, he's pretty cool. I like the, um, I like the the way they designed his designed him. I like how he is even on the gold bits and he's even on the red bits. Because it makes for a very cool looking color scheme for the guy. Like a red torso is awesomely awesome with the red with the gold chest plate. The red leg armor with the gold side guards, the red armor on his arms and the gold wrist Gauntlet, wrist gauntlet, and a sh gold on the shoulder pad make really cool. Plus, I like the fact that he has like a fire in the middle of his swords. And he has two extra swords that he carries on his back. Which makes for a good design. But I also lo love that they kept with him with his old school theme that he did during the old Toa days. Like during old school Toa where they were just like the standard by uncle body with different legs and same arms but a little different. But they had like that silver armor and a different looking mask. I like how they kept with his character that he like to um, surf on lava, that they kept him with, like he can combine his two swords, and he can 
and you just peg them on to the peg holes on the bottom of his feet. On two, and just put his foot, his other foot there, somewhere. And he, ah! I just got him so he's a little stiff in spots. I like with the old school Tahoe. Back in the days of the Toa, where the silver armor over their bodies. They kind of did a little homage to him, to his. He can connect his swords together and form kind of like a a lava board that he can use to surf on the lava and go. Woo Which is really cool, and I always loved, loved that scene in that in the Mask of Light movie where he carried uh, the. Um, oh, I forgot his name. I forgot the who the Golden Toa, or the seven the, the Toa of Light used to be. Oh. If you remember that movie, post his name in the comments below because I can't remember right now. But how he, but all I know of him is his title as the. The chronicler, how he had the chronicler on his bag, and he was like, like chronicler, sightseeing, Maria. Well, let's take a closer look at those falls. And then fell off the cliff, used the sword to go. And he was voiced by one of my favorite voice actors of all time in that movie. He was voiced by Scott McNeil. He was very awesome. So I'll pay these from his <laughs> And just like with my Pohado and my Golly, he has a kind of bit of the same problem. I was like, you can get one of the, the pegs off, but <laughs> you don't want to get stuck on the bottom of their foot. I'm just going to set his blades up, his ball board to the side right there. And let's just straighten him out. And, and just like with the others, he's got a good, he's got a good feel to him. And, um, unlike, um, Anoa, which him, Anoa, and Kapaka were like the big Toa builds. Unlike Anoa, he doesn't have a lot of bulk to him to cause problems. Well, to give like aesthetic wise problems. I'm not saying that Anoa has aesthetic problems. He pulls off for who he's supposed to be very good. But I just um, think he's just a little bit too bulky. Like, I understand they wanted him to be bulky because that's his character. But I think um, Tahoe pulls off. Pulls off who he's supposed to be a little better. Like he's not bulky, super bulky, but he's bulky enough to show that yes, he's the leader of the team. And Taihu has pretty much the right bulk to show like yes, he's the leader of the team. Yes, he is the eldest. Well, not the eldest. I don't think he's the eldest, but like out of his siblings, he's like the one of the older ones. Which I think, um, Kopaka, I don't, I don't, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, but I think Kopaka is the oldest out of them, but it's just Tahu has the, uh, the, the brave fire within his heart to be a leader. I don't know, I, like I said, correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. It doesn't matter, but just correct me if I'm wrong. This has been a while, and since this is a new update to them, I don't know who's the oldest and who's the youngest anymore. But the other two blades that he comes with, they go onto his back, but they can also be... You can kind of like have them look like he has wings a little bit. And you can pose them however you want, have them there, and... Or you can have them 
go like, ha ha. Have him go like, ha ha. I'm like a bull now. But, no. but if you want, and they, it shows on the box that he can. Work with me, Tahoe. Work with me. He can hold him as. He can hold them as weapons. And like with all the Spinnacle sets in, in the slime in the Series 2, he has the gearbox where he's like, ah. But I like how his gives him kind of like a restriction of how far he can go. Unlike with, um, with um, Dolly, with her gearbox, her arm can go. Same with Bahado, his arm go. But with Anoa's, his like um, like um, Taho has a limit to how far they can go. Like he can go that far back and that far up with the arm, so it, he's kind of even with the whole. <laughs> Or like with um Akimo, he which I do have. Let's get get the poor guy up and at him. Well with Akimo he has to have a limit of how far his gearbox can actually no he doesn't. Oh yeah. It does. He can go really far back but stomps right there. He can go very far this way he can go all the way around, but going the other way. Oh, he can't. Actually, no, he doesn't have a limit. But, yeah, with him, he, his arm can go all the way around. Like, with Gali's and Pohatu's, and which is why I took um, Pohatu's and Gali's um, gearbox out. Let's put a key there. The Skull Grinder, I didn't like his gearbox, even though it's the same as um, Tahoe and um, Anoa's. I took it out because I want him to have more stable arms. Well, it's the same as it with, um, with Pajaro's and um, Kali's and Kimo's, but I wanted him to have, like, no more arms, so that way when I do have him pose with his weapon, as far as I want him to, it doesn't drag his arm down like, That's, which is why I took his gear boss out, and he actually looks a he actually, with Skull Grinder, Pohatu, and Gali, when you take their gear boxes off and replace them with their gear boxes with more parts that look like this and just put them where wherever the gear box starts he actually feels a lot better because the gear box it's a cool gimmick it's just he, with him in particular he feels a lot better dolly as well like she doesn't have like an arm that would go lo, 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 lo. And with, same with Pahadu, but I keep a Noah's on him because he has a limit of how far he can go. Same with Tahu, but with Tahu's, his doesn't feel like, feel like meh. And plus, he's cool. And for sizing, here he is with Akimu. Kimo the Mask Maker! Who is very short! <laughs> As you can see, he is dwarfed by Tahoe. Let's put it back to the side over there. Okay. Straightened Tahoe up. Up. Just a t 
Tad. So guys, I'm gonna bring Skull Grinder back out. Let's stream that bad boy up. And here he is with Skull Grinder. They are They are eye to eye, which in the cinematic trailers for um, Skullgrinder and his skeleton minions, and uh, Tahoe is going like, to him, they are, they were eye to eye. Uh, let's just put these blades back on his back, because he looks kind of cool with them on his back. And they just easily ah. no he's falling apart on me can easily just go I think a little more like like this oh yeah he will more like that ah. Ah. again he's falling apart on me stop it Tuffle stop it ah this mask there we go. And let's bring out his polar opposite and his sis his sister, which is the polar opposite to his element, Gali. And he sees about to the top of her mask. So he's tall compared to his sister. I would drag out Pahadu, but him and Gali are about the same size, so... The same with Lewa. Uh, Noah, I think he's a little short, just like an inch shorter than, um... Taho. I do not know how big Kopaka is, because I do not have Kopaka. Him and, um... Lewa are next. And I might get the Fire Protector for his combination with the fire protector. Oh, speaking of protectors, here he is with with my modified Korgoth. And like Akimo, she is dwarfed by him. And what I mean by modified is like I gave her these, gave her spikes right there, I took out the gun off of, out of her, gave her a butt back slash foot plate. I I liked her gun her gun chest. I still have it so I can switch her back between back and forth with gun chest and non gun chest, but I think for this like uh I mean, when she doesn't need that gun in her she can just put on a slap on a regular chest plate and be like do 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 and plus that she looks a little more looks a little cooler. With that on, and these can she can use these as weapons or more mining materials. Speaking of which, use her mining drill slash mace, mace of doom. This is kind of like has the same deal as the Kino shield. It gets bent. Side. Uh, okay, one more size to person before I show him his polar mask and then the review. Oh, I like all these sets except for the Kimo Skull Grinder set. It comes with Skull Spider. Here he is with. Well, I have two more size comparisons. Here he is with Leader Class Ultra Magnus. And he goes to Magnus's chest. So these are two big boys. And then here is Tahoe with my 
with my female Makura and he goes to her boobs. Let's see, there she is. There's his face. His face is right in her bazooms. Her patunka dunks. Her women part. Her women, women parts. Dutch. <laughs> this is like And now the showing of the golden mask, the fist golden mask. Same as all these guys, except for my favorite Kuda. Just hit this part and his mask flies off. My face! And here he is with his golden mask, which he looks. which goes well with his color scheme, but I prefer him with it. With his regular mask, but I'm also going to show him what he looks like wearing the the mask of creation that comes with the Akimo and Skull Grinder set. One of the legendary masks of this these new Bionicle lines, besides the corrupt masks. Now he looks like a king. I am the king! Herp, 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 herp! And for Diggles, here he is with Dolly's golden mask. And Dolly's mask. And why not? Let's just see what he looks like with his. Here he is with. Skullgrinder's mask. Blah. And another for giggles. Here he is with a chemo mask. A chemo grew. <laughs> the mask maker grew. And the other mask that he can wear, well, he can wear any of them. But the other mask that, like, his um, siblings and the protectors can wear are the Skull Spires. And these things are a little tricky, especially with how his chest plate. Just because of how chest plate is there you go it's on he can wear the skull spire if the skull spire latched onto him like oh, get that thing off me like golly golly get this thing off me and then his siblings is come and smack it in his face like yay but like I said he looks, he looks good with any of the golden masks and any of the regular masks or in well, his mask or any of the other regular masks too. If you want to be weird, oh, another, just for fun, real quick. Here he is with Korgoth's mask and then here he is with a dead skull spider without its legs to make it easier to get onto him. Ah! And he looks and him and his siblings or any of the other protectors also you know this mask doesn't go with with how their their look goes. They still all look good with the mask of creation because it's the one mask that him, his sister, and his brothers all went to look for after they all went and got their golden masks. 
Oh yeah, Tahu is a, a very good set. I highly recommend him for you Bionicle fans who don't have him. Or if you're all just getting the Bionicle, I say either pick him up first or pick up other sets like how I started. I started out, I got Golly, then I got Anoa, and then after Anoa, I got Pohatu, and after Pohatu, I got Karga. No, I got the Akima Skull Grinder. No, I got Skull Bat. Skull. Bashers set, and then I got the Skull Grinder and a Kimo set, and then I got Korga, and then I finally got Tahoe after her. Uh, if you uh, if you want to start with who is the, like the leader of the group, I say go for him because he looks very cool. Then I really like him. I'm glad I finally decided to get him. The next one that I'm gonna get. If I can find him is Leila because I want to get the the master of the air. Though they could have just named him the master of the four the jungle because he's green and his whole deals. He lives in a him and his little Matorians live in a jungle, but hey, that's Leila. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna get the last of the. Toa, which is Kopaka, and I am actually looking forward to one of the Kopaka, because I love the look of him. It's so much, and the new Kopaka is so much better than the old school original Kopaka, because he doesn't have a, one arm that is that was made specifically just to be a shield arm. He has both arms, and his weapons can be his shield. But yeah, I spent my review on Tahoe, I recommend him, and, um, and see you in the next review, like, comment, and subscribe, and have fun with your life, and watching my videos, and all the other YouTubers out there. See ya, and take care.